Three sovereigns. I was thinking of changing my hairstyle. That's brilliant. Okay. Looks like the trail Isabella left. Do, 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 do. We are most likely going to wreck people's faces. Well, low town we go. All right. That ability. I don't have any stamina. And boom. Bring them in. Lop them out. Bring them dry. And then uh, I silence them now. are gonna get summoned. Jeez. Okay. Wow. Boom. Oh, we lost Anders. That's fine. We'll, we'll get through this. Boop. I 
Grab, grab, grab. Okay. Now her trail doesn't go in here. As she goes this way. And of course, the more comes in. I gotta have this. Uh... Oh, really? Really, game? Really gonna do that to me? Here we go. And do I love her abilities? Isabella's leading me to the docks. Now the docks, huh? Well, great. Fantastic. Haven't been to the docks yet in a while. Since, uh, we beat the Quinari. Okay. Let's go. And boom. Good God. <laughs> Ability is nuts. I, I I can't I can't stop gushing over that ability. That is probably the one ability in this, one skill tree in this entire game that I'm actually really interested in. All the others are like, eh. The other skill trees are meh. And you're next. Hey buddy, do you know your head's stuck in the cart? Probably not. I'm sure he'll be fine though. He'll be he'll be fine, right, Chat? More refugees pouring in every day. All right, pop on in. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. 
contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the beats was up to something! Kill them! Oh my god. Oh, that's right, I don't have a bear. Why, why didn't you just, like, essentially rejoin the party? Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. But of course. But uh first. It's done. You're such a slave driver. I know, right? Ah, that's what I need. All set. So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? The city guard will find these documents very interesting. Hmm. You go ahead and activate this. You get out of here. Let's go. And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. Oh, you want to kill him? Ship? Can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. What happened to getting rid of Castillon? I am getting rid of him. Through peaceful means. Ah! That's priceless. I saw the ship docked in the harbor, Castillon. She is splendid. I want her. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. Yeah, we're gonna... 
The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear, that you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. He didn't deserve to walk free. He'll get what's coming to him someday. Doesn't need to be at my hand. So what do you... How does it feel to have finally gotten the ship of your okay. dreams? Better than three greased up sailors. I really should haul anchor first thing tomorrow morning, but... She's quite glad. I don't know. Sorry. I've taken a shine to Kirkwall. And some of the people in it. I might stick around. Come on. Questioning beliefs. Victor, ah, okay. But yeah, quite truthfully, I'm glad I didn't romance her. She seems kind of too out there. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 this way, please. Okay. Well, that quest is basically done. We're just going to have to have ourselves a little talk. Oh, jeez. All right. You come on, on in, and then boom. And then boom. Yeah, that's definitely me. Yeah, that's, that's my definitely, that's definitely my favorite combo. I might as well just use the stone whatever. What's it called? Jeez, I keep forgetting what it's called. And stone's throw. So, you're next. All right. <clears throat> that it? All right, awesome. All right. Now, uh, I'm still curious as to what the heck Anders is up to. He talks as if he's literally just going to die. Like... You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Ah, you're still here. At least some things are constant in this ever-changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm going to hit you. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I have as well. A good friend and a constant source of excitement. Oh, you do know how to flatter a girl. Now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. And what about I Meryl? I can't just leave Meryl. Then bring her along. A blood mage obsessed with mirrors is a useful thing to have on a ship. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. 
<laughs> a toast to friendship and to us. All right. I found this amazing hat shop in Lowtown. Back to on the back to on the loose. Alrighty then. Well, that's definitely something. A Gamlin's greatest treasure. I say we're going back to the main story and inst instantly go to side quest stuff. Uh, I, uh, I guess it doesn't matter how. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter if I di if I don't enjoy the game or not. I'm still gonna end up doing side quests apparently. That's the hidden supply. Oh, okay. Yep, main quest. If it's not on the map, I'm not gonna do it. At least for this game. Alrighty then. Oh, no, I need to go to Hightown? Okay, sounds good. Bill got some broth. Evening, Comtesse. Oh, the champion of Kirkwall. This is marvelous. You honor this household. I will call for refreshments. Okay. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. Thank you for your hospitality, Comtesse. I need to speak to you about a meal. Hospitality? This? Oh, it is a disgrace. If you had just sent a message to say you were coming. I haven't seen a meal since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am it sure he will right. turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulcie. What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling! We have guests! I can help him here. I am your son's best chance for mercy from the Templars. Mercy? They wouldn't really hurt him, would they? Oh, you should have seen his face. It just broke my heart. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in low-town taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Yeah. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. I will do what I can. If there's a way to help Emil, I will find it. Thank you, champion. An acquaintance spied Emil in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. The hanged man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulce. Perhaps you should lie down. 
Okay, that was easier than I was expecting. Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> Beric. Okay. Uh, I like Beric. I love Beric. Okay, mage. Oh, blood mage. Ow! And two more that way. Well, fantastic. Really not exactly. Right. As soon as she hopped in. Ooh. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you got on you. Superior plate armor. Okay, so basically the game has stated that the champion armor is literally the best armor in the game, so I'm going to follow that. I would just like to know what the best shield in the game is. If I had gotten it already. Hopefully. I, I don't think I got the game already, but... Emil de Lancet? Hey, how do you know my name? Didn't Nena tell you? I gave her my Lancet signet ring in exchange for a kiss. And tonight, she's going to make me a man. The Comte was right. How did the Templars miss him? He's lived in the circle all his life. He can't function in the real world. Round the drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know, and you are. They call me the champion of Kirkwall. I've been looking for you, Emil. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, uh, suave. Uh, yeah, well, you that haircut? <laughs> you no. You grew up in the circle. You know what the Templars do to blood mages. I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six? For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. The Ferelden circle's more fun. Everyone was kissing everyone. Though, that was before the abominations. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Ah! Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. I just... Don't want to die of Elgin. Yeah. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. Uh, 
do you think, chat? What do you think? Here we go, it's a deal or that's not a good idea. I don't know. I don't know. Uh I I mean like I I would like to give him this. My personal opinion. I would like to give him this. But I kind of feel like it's not a great idea. Right. So, you know what? We made a quick save. So, let's go ahead and explore both options. I'll wait here till you're ready to go back to the circle. Thank you. You feel better? Well, I'm not going to tell you about it. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. The truth. <laughs> okay, that was, that was, I think that might have been worth it. Templar Hall. Okay, this is the Templar Hall. Okay. Okay. I'm led to believe that both Huon and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? No. He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. At least this is over. Wait. That's it? Pay us and send us on our way? Not a single thought given to the fact that you Templars brought all of this upon yourselves. Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the Champion protects you only so much. This is not the time, Anders. If not now, when? We do what we think is best for this city, Mage. That is all we can do. I bid you good day, Champion. Let's complete. Small problem. Talk to Barrack in Lowtown's Hangman Pub. Okay. Okay, Anders. Almost kind of screwed things up a little bit. I was like, ah, don't you go any further, Anders. And it's quite apparent that, that she actually knows that he's even apostate. Don't quite like that. Like, okay. 